This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. From what the I may find out, certain people not like me. Everyone got a spaghetti thing now. Makes true me, I do it like Nike. But me not fear no guy now. No matter how hard them must fight me. Me just a go and do my thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 Them one pies in me, show me thing up. Pass me and them girlfriend a link up. Dark way you did that when they think tough. No food, clean water for drink up. No me and the dog, them a link up. Big truck, 20 inch rim, just a spin up. The pioneer just a kick up. Talking Heads with Party is brought to you by Gamel Foods Limited, the Bahamas Out Island Promotion Board, BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, First Caribbean Bank, Freeport News, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources, Monty Journeys, Percy Island Games, Scotiabank, and Tropical Gyros. No matter how hard they must fight me, me just a go and do me thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 If I tell you the truth, if I were you, then me probably woulda like me neither. Fresh to the top, and again, them said the flow and God live my mind near Jesus. The Tuesday, August fifteenth edition of Talking Hands on and Pop, Mr. Producer. I got nothing in the headphones. Give me something. I, I know what's going on. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let me see if I get it worked out. Boy, I tell, all right, all right. We, we, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking. I got, I got to pull the cord to the left today, not to the right. All right, all right, all right. We got it worked out now. But yeah, Murphy's alive and well, but it's all good. We can work it out. Um, in studio with me today, we got Sarah Kirkby. Glad to have her in studio. Sarah, what brings you to town? Obviously, you know, every Tuesday we do the Ground Bahama Report. We do the Freeport Report. Ground Bahama Supplement in the Guardian each and every Tuesday. Like I tell you, spend the money, get the supplement. So we're going to talk about that. But obviously, you're in studio with us today. You're not, not from your you know, friendly environs in Freeport. <laughs> that you love so much. So that's why I say if it brings you to town, something big had to bring you to town. So let us know exactly why you're here. And then we'll talk about everything going on in Grand Bahama real quick. And people, I want you to listen out. Because when I finish talking to Sarah, I got a bombshell. All right? If you want, listen, internet providers... Communications, possibly telecommunications. Listen, man, I got a bombshell coming up, all right? Erica, I, I, I know you're listening. I want you all to stay listening because I got some questions for you all because this, this affects everybody. And, Mr. Producer, I think what we have here is a problem. I think this one on the way out. So on the break, we got to probably switch it up because I, I, I think this cord might need some Viagra. It's kind of dying. It's kind of limp. All right, so, Sarah, what's good with you and yours, man? I'm good. How are you, Naughty? I, I am here, and um, obviously you're in town. I am. I'm in town. I came in town uh, Sunday night, came from Monday to meet with the Minister of Social Services, along with Women United, Rights Bahamas, and all a host of advocacy, advocacy, oh, I cannot say it. Advocacy. Women's advocacy groups. Ugh to uh, come and talk about the PAV bill and about things that were missed from the gender-based violence bill. And uh, it was the second meeting with the Minister of Social Services, Obi Wilshkam, who is from Grand Bahama, so it was good to see him. And he listened to everything. They took everything in, and we are hoping that they will. we will change some key things that we want in this bill that will help um, everybody, not just sexual uh, victims of violence, but those from mental cruelty. And obviously, and you're referring to the, to the violence bill that was just recently passed. Yes, I am and, referring to that. And obviously, we, we yeah. talked about it in depth on this show. Yeah, it's all it's through the papers today. Uh, you'll see it. There's lots of uh, news stories on it. The Guardian covered it as well. 
and it was a, a very good meeting. It was held. The minister had uh, invited all the women's groups to come there. Uh, I have to tell you, um, Belinda from uh, BUT was there. She was phenomenal. And she, you know, she, like us, was pushing for these changes to happen. I think they're key changes that will make the bill have a lot more power. But mainly they're to support the women and the children who are affected by them and men, uh, how they're treated, what care they get provided, and uh, some special things as well. We, we're trying to get less government involvement and more NGOs, and also it will help with financing for the bill as to help support people. It, there's a lot to it, and I think the changes are very important, and then hopefully we'll work to do even more things for women's legislation uh, in the country. We do have some other big things we need to do, which is uh, the marital rape law, and also we need to get uh, fair uh, citizenship rights for women in this country. So we don't have that yet, and we need that to happen. Well, I'm glad that the, that everybody <laughs> involved is taking a stand because I, I thought it was very distasteful that you work on a bill. You bring you know you bring all these groups together, yeah. these advocacy groups together. They, they loan their time, their effort, their their expertise, their knowledge to help you form a bill to better the country. And then you don't even use it or any components of said their bill. Yeah, and there's also a, 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 a 2015 huge, I think it was like a 200-page strategy plan that was put together to help implement it, the education process behind it, and that was left out as well. So I, I'm glad that, that you're not letting that go. I'm glad you ought to be in the squeaky wheel on that. And, you yeah. know, you have a platform here. Yeah. If you ever have to get those ladies on, you know, just give me a call. I would love to. And, and we'll make it happen. Let me tell you, I was so impressed by uh, the ladies from Women's United and all the groups who spoke up. There were quite a few. The work that they do to help people uh, and the, some of the stories they told yesterday were really, really heartbreaking. And so it's, it's, it's amazing the time they're giving. Lisa Boswick was amazing sharing the changes that we needed. And um, I was so proud of the minister as well. He listened to everything. Yes, okay, it's it's after the fact, but at least they're listening, and we're going to be able to, we feel, make those changes. So I'm very happy that it happened. So kudos to him as well. All right, now we need to talk about what's going on in Grand Bahama. Yeah, we do. And off the top, you know, I'm a little warm. I'm a little upset. Yes. What's going on with the oil spills? Not one, but two. Well, the first spill was um, one that was spoken about by Buckeye. And I do know, I have a friend who works there, and she's in the environmental section. She's amazing. And this was an oil spill that went on top of the water, and it was supposed to evaporate. Joe Darville went and spoke to them about it. We all felt that was, it was, they explained everything, so that was fine. The problem is, is a week later, and it was actually, um, I was walking on the beach on Tuesday after the holiday, spoke to, what well, might have been after the holiday, might have been in the Monday, and um the holiday was a week before, so I'm getting confused. And this gentleman came up and said, hey, if you don't go down there. There's oil all over the beach and tar. And we were like, you're kidding. And you could clearly see where the oil had come in. And so the reports started coming up of people getting oil on their feet, the dogs and everything. So it spread. Basically, what I understand, it hit Xanadu Beach and went all the way east down to Freetown Beach. So if you know our, our coastline, how far down that is, that's quite huge. And it was all over. The worst part about it was, though, a couple of days later, it was actually in the sand and under the water. So we don't know what the rest of the damage is. And now to top it off, unfortunately, they found quite a few birds that have also been covered in oil. So, you know, the worst part is what's happening to the corals and the fishes as well. So we don't know what's going on. The, what everyone believes is that a fish, a fish, sorry, a boat went out into international waters and dumped, and this is what's happened. We don't know who, we don't know where, and that's where it's at at the moment. But I will say that Ministry of Environment, they took everybody's phone calls, I know, because I called as well. They were phenomenal. They called right back. They got on it, and so did the Grand Bahama Port Authority's Environmental Department. There's a wonderful lady who works there. She was on it, and they were cleaning up the beaches straight away. Um, but again, there were already tourists who got hit by it, so it was not, you know, not good for Grand Bahama. <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking at the footprint, man. That is that is not a pretty picture right no, there. No, it's not. No, and there were other pictures as well of animals, and and everyone's trying to figure out how to clean it off, and not good, not good at all. And so the thing is, though, what I didn't realize, 
and I don't know if this, you know, I don't know how the the laws, uh, the marina laws work or, or, or any of them, but I didn't realize ships could go out into international waters and just dump. Yeah, man, I mean. I didn't, I think, that, you know, you would have thought there would have been some rule about what they could dump and what they couldn't. I mean, how are you allowed to dump tar and oil into the middle of the ocean? It's got to go somewhere. It does, and, and it ends up on our shorelines, on our coastlines. In our, you know, you know, in our environment, in the food table, obviously, it's in the water. Exactly. It's going to be in the food table. It's going to be, and then, and people want to drill for oil. I, I just don't understand this at all. I mean, just how could, you know, this is our, our livelihood. You know, as much as we know through COVID that we have to not be totally reliable on tourism, this is still our livelihood, and we cannot have this happen. Imagine if this was happened on Atlanta's side and all the beachgoers there, oh, dear Baja God. Mar, you know? And how much that would spread socially, social media as well would carry all of that. So these are things we have to th- think about. And I don't know what the laws are, but I just don't understand how a ship can just dump. And this was a lot. This was not a small amount that you had seen. Maybe, you know when you were little from time to time, you used to see stuff on the beach? I haven't seen anything in forever. And during COVID, all our beaches got beautifully clean because you know, most of these ships were out of the waters. But this, this was huge. This is, you know, a, a big dump. And it went spread all the way through the island. And every time you think it's gone, you put your feet underwater, and then it, the oil's gone in there from the you know the tide washing stuff in and out. I don't know. I I, I, I really hope and pray that we could get all of that tidied up in Grand Bahama. Me the, too. the residual that's left over from years ago, and these new spills. And I hope that that, that we do the due diligence environmentally. That's the of thing. Of staying yeah. on top of it. Yeah. Um. And I see you got some 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 more other good news. Mm-hmm. You got uh, Bahamian Ocean Advocate Lines, two international campaigns. Yeah, so Alana works for Coral Vita, um, but she's also been working um, a- along with the well-known um, diver, and um, uh, he d- he's amazing on Instagram, um, Andre Musgrove. She's been working with him for years. You know, Andre goes all over uh, shooting and 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 filming, doing sharks. Correct. Uh, everything. He's he's phenomenal. I'm a big fan of his. So he had, she's been working as one of his models. So they reached out to her to model a whole bathing suit campaign. So she did that, and then she's also been working with the Little Mermaid and this ocean water bottle. So she, Alana is a Grand Bahamian, phenomenal young lady, and she's the one who actually got to do the tour at Coral Vita with um, the prince and princess when they came. And she's just a well-spoken. Bright young lady, good representative for GB. So it was great to see her get these two campaigns. And we had to wait a while because so we could tell the story till it had all launched. And as you can see, um, Andre shot her here in uh, Nassau, um, where the underwater scenes are for the bathing suit campaign. I, I, it's just impressive that we have a, a, a positive promotion in the country. We see a lot of negative promotion, but I think this is positive, and especially the underwater shoots Yeah, with the, with the coral gardens and so on and so that's forth. That's it, coral gardens, yeah. It's just off the chain. Yeah. So that's good stuff. Yeah. And uh, then Carnival. Right, Carnival's yeah. dredging complete, retail is being sought, so let me know more about that. So they came, you had to register to go to the meeting, and this is now setting up the whole, um, so the port's been, uh, basically Carnival's built the port. They've done the dredging, it's all happened. That's all finished. They've replanted the coral. Now they've built 12 feet high, so that's how uh, where their um, uh, their port will be, and you'll come in. It's on the east end of the island, if you know the island at all. It's down from um, Lacayan National Park. Sorry, it's before you get to Lacayan National Park. It's kind of closer to where Owl's Hole is, if people know where that is. And um, it's going to be a huge space, and so now they're talking about retailers coming in and they want Bahamians. There was a fear that they were going to um, make you use carnival cards and then they would pay you to, a week to two weeks later. That's been dispelled. You can read about that in this article. And if you didn't make the meeting and you want to register, you can read it and find out about that. Um, so this is you know, a, a new thing for us looking to open in 2024 and bring multiple cruise ships to Grand Bahama. I think... Uh, like not to your level, <laughs> but for us, it will be huge. We'll be getting, I think, something like six ships a week now will come through that port when wow. it's built. So it's That's big for stuff, us. Though. Yeah, it is. And there's also tour now operations. Now you got to get them well. all over Grand Bahama, though. Yeah, well, we're, we're getting there, I think there so. Because if you look in the paper, the uh, public consultation is coming up for six senses. It's an ad in the paper today as well. So 
That's happening on the Saturday. I was looking at that six senses. I know you and Darren spoke highly of that when the first, you know, the news first broke right here on the show. So yeah. Hopefully that development can get up and running as fast as possible. Yeah. So they all the red tape out of the way. That's the hard part. So they well, that's the EIA. So they'll be coming to explain that, and that's in the paper today. I believe the events on the seventh. Yeah, September seventh. And so we're hoping that that goes well, and that the EIA study goes well. Discovery is a lovely beach, and I think it's a great place to put a resort. We've got phenomenal beaches. So yeah. I still see that doing that thing with uh, the Bernie Butler swim. Yeah, so it was back. Went to the ocean again. Again, and, and luckily we had no problems with oil, just so you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm on the committee, so it was fine. And we had a huge turnout. Uh, we had 20 more swimmers than last year, which we'll take that. And they, the 5K is doing really well. And we had um, a lady here, a young lady from Nassau, Layla Sadie. She actually won the 5K and the 3K. She did both races. So that's off to her for an amazing swim. And then we also had um, the people who started the race. They were out, and we um, gave them plaques, and it was a, a really good celebration of the, of the people that started the race over 52 years ago, and including a lady called Harriet Lynch who taught so many people how to swim in Grand Bahama at the YMCA, which you know of. There you, you go. Sam, there were Nick Boyce. Yes, sir. <laughs> and many, many a race down there. Exactly. So, yeah, man. It, so it, she was part stuff. of that. Yeah, she was part of that. So that's, that's us in a nutshell. I mean, the major thing really for us right now is this oil concern and getting that sorted out. Um, and But looking forward to as well with the Carnival and the Six Senses property. So these are big things. All right. Well, always glad to hear from you. Glad to hear from you in person. I day. know. And I'm, I'm very disappointed I have failed miserably i did not bring you your western bakery patties and every time i go to western bakery they go you picking some up for naughty you yeah, listen here don't i worry. know i'm and in I, trouble i had to free point to see my in-laws <laughs> and, and shout out to my in-laws shout out to my mother-in-law especially love you mommy mm-hmm. um i definitely gotta go hit them up in person because they some off the chain patties. i'm I, telling I, I, you I tell you two thumbs up and you still got the kentucky fight going on who's better <laughs> uh, there's no doubt New Providence, Kentucky, wiped the floor with y'all. They beat the pieces off y'all. I don't know. My mom had to carry some to Abaco this week for some lady who wanted her Kentucky from Freeport. So I'm just yeah, saying. But that's, the that's, challenge that's the is anomaly. out there. That's the anomaly. When you yeah. get a call, you coming down and bring me six buckets of spicy and six buckets of <laughs> original. And then, yeah, and, and, the and very, then we do uh, the competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, yeah. You're, you're not in there yet. You're close, but you're in there. Not, yeah. not, 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 with, not with KFC. No, well, yeah, the patties good. are definitely coming your way. So that's, that's like, but I have to. Great. And I also have to say a shout out. I went to Matisse today to have my final, final final meal out there, and it was fabulous as always. So shout out to them; they're fantastic. There you go. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, and, and we will hear from you next week again. And keep up the good work, always giving us everything that's going on in Grand Bahama with the Grand Bahama News each and every Tuesday. Thank right you, the Guardian. All right, we we'll get to the first break, and like I told you, I got a bombshell <laughs> coming up out of the break. Sarah, you know what Starlink is. No. Have you, have you heard of Starlink yet? No, I'm way behind. Well, no, no, hold on. Now you know, now you know Elon Musk, right? Yes. Well, Elon, that's Elon Musk's company. Uh, it's so how does it work? Company. Well, apparently, Starlink, an ISP, uh, internet service provider, has officially been launched uh, in this country. Here. And they can provide services. Yeah. Cutting out the middleman and everything. I, I wonder what BTC and Rev and everybody got to say about that. So we can now get Starlink? Uh, apparently, and you can order it, you can get it, and then when you get it, um, you cut out the middleman, you can set it up yourself. So what? Now, now it makes me wonder how many Bahamians may be displaced with all of this. Wow. We've got a lot of internet providers in this country to provide service and jobs. Two major companies. Two major companies. I mean, they're the only ones, really, aren't they? Correct. Wow. And not, and we Interesting know how, and time. We know, you know, know Elon, Elon Musk. You know how Elon <laughs> carries on. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> so I know Erica listening. Well, I got some questions for you all coming about the break. We got a hot and heavy one coming up on the flip side of the break. I want to uh, thank Sarah for starting it off. We'll take the quick break now. And then after this, boy, yeah, that's what I buzzing on today. Starlink. And I, I want to hear from you guys on Starlink. So we're going to open up the lines, open up the text lines, and, you know, let's get all caught up, man. Because I, I know plenty of y'all haven't heard about this, but you need to. And especially my crew over there at Rev and BTC. I want to know y'all, how y'all feeling. And Erica, I know y'all stay listening to me, so keep listening because I got some questions. Maybe y'all could call in or text in. Thank you very much. We'll pick it up on the flip side of the break as the Tuesday, August 15th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Hot 
Attention all KFC lovers. Are you ready to get crazy on Tuesdays? Now you can get five juicy mouth-watering pieces of KFC chicken for only $10. It's crazy. Five pieces of world-famous KFC chicken, handmade with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices for only $10. Don't miss out. This crazy offer is only on Tuesdays and only at KFC. KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. Shavara Roka Inias, Chick Chani Farms. I don't think I chose farming. I think farming chose me. Winning this award will definitely give us the funding that we need to start our farming season. Most persons who are in the agriculture field realize that at the start of the season, which is in the next couple of weeks, you do always need a bulk of cash. I think we have a great track record for the work that we've been doing in agriculture over the last 10 years. And so when I saw the opportunity for an award like this, I figured, you know what? I should just go ahead and enter. The Agrarian Awards, September 16th. When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together, and we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world, Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. Grab your camera, capture the spirit of the Bahamas, and win cash and prizes. Scotiabank, in partnership with the Guardian Media Group, invites all youth, amateur, and professional photographers to enter the Celebrate Bahamas 50 photography competition, being held under the theme, One Nation, One Legacy, Our Future. With more than $8,000 in cash to be won, snap those photos and send them in by August 30th. Visit guardiantalkradio.com or bs.scotiabank.com to find out how to enter. Let's celebrate our proud nation in photos. Terms and conditions apply. Put your best foot forward this school year by shopping at John's for your back-to-school foot care needs. From toddlers to college students, have your child looking smart in a pair of Hush Puppies, Sperry, Easy Strider brand styles, and many more. Durable and sharp, the kids will step with confidence all year. Need socks and a belt? We've got you covered. And don't forget a new backpack and lunch containers. You can find all this and more at the best prices and customer service in town at John's on Rosetta Street and Carmichael Road. John's, we put fashion at your feet. Ready for something very delicious this summer? Introducing the new Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte. Enjoy the bold flavors of Dunkin' Espresso and sweet, luscious strawberry, all topped with velvety whipped cream and irresistible cookie crumbles for a match made in latte heaven. Make Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte your go-to beverage this summer. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Gotcha on the Tuesday, August 15th edition of Talking Heads. And uh, I see you, Carla. I'll get to you in one second. Before I get to that, though, I got to hit you up with some FYI. You know how it is, people. You know, I like to keep you in the know and get you where you want to go, and especially when it comes to my sponsors. I like to keep you hooked up with all the goodness that's going on with them. Got to remind you that John's is the authorized distributor for Chef Work Chefware, the most respected global culinary brand. John's carries chef jackets, chef pants, aprons, and hats, all designed to keep culinary professionals cool and comfortable. John's is also uh, now carrying chef knife sets by Mercer Culinary Tools that make for all-around better chef. All of this goodness available for you at John's Careware, Rosetta Street, and Carmichael Road. Both locations available for you, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Saturday, to take care of you. And remember, John's serving you is a pleasure. All right, uh, Bahamas, listen up. Let's bucket together this summer with KFC. Grab a bucket of delicious KFC fried chicken and kick back with friends and family, whether it's original, spicy, or barbecue. KFC has the flavors you crave. Remember, Bahamas, you bucket, he buckets, she buckets, then we bucket together. Make sure you don't go through the summer without crossing this off of your bucket list. 
KFC. It's finger licking good. And sometimes you just got to say bucket. All right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, a little FYI for you as well. Uh, it, it's Tuesday. So, you know, crazy Tuesdays going on over there at KFC Nassau. All right. So indulge and enjoy. Get five pieces of chicken. Original, spicy, or mixed for $10. You can't beat that with a stick. No, you can't. Not in the least. Not in a little bit. Not at all. And Duncan reminds you, it's all about that strawberry cheesecake latte. All summer long, beat the heat. All right, it's available for you at your favorite Duncan location, downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Burning Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through Carmichael, the newest location, and at the airport, pre-clearance, post-clearance, and arrivals. So no reason for you not to be running on Duncan. Now, before I get into this buzz, and I'm a buzz on, brought to you by John Shoes, and, and break down all this Starlink, this, this big bombshell I got for you, let me go to the phone lines real quick, and then we'll get into this. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, who's this? Hey, what's going on, JJ? I'm fine. I mean, I, mean, I try to call one this morning, but one to the answer, but it's quite clear. Yeah. I know what's going on. But let me tell you something. I can try to so they took to understand. You know what? It's really been an after body trying to tell the side of the party here. You see, and I know Greg Boyd personally. Okay? Personally. You see, God waited you know, sometimes, and, and you need to humble yourself to be with you. Sorry, you know about CNN. You you break it up, um, JJ. I can't hear you. Hey, Mr. Producer, could we bring JJ up a little bit? JJ, you want to try hey. calling me back? You or talk up a little bit because you dead low. I can hardly hear you. Okay then. Okay, I try my best and I know the one with the phone. But anyway, Nori, you know this country is a rich country, and our country is a blessed man. And then something, Nori, we need to do things. Nori, all, all I can say, I on the ground and people angry. People angry. They angry, they hurting, and they and they they hurting. Um, JJ. If they hating, if they're the first country, the civil war is ruined. Civil war is ruined. That's all I can say. Thanks, take my call. All right, JJ. Always a pleasure, man. All right, I'm about to get into this now. I want y'all to listen up, people. All right, because it's about to uh, change the uh, perception of how things look. All right, and before I get into it, it says naughty. Starlink is the best we will have. I was reading up on it. It sounds awesome. It gives you phone, cell phone, and cable through a satellite dish. You install it at your home. All right, good. I'm so glad you heard so many good things about that. Now, listen up to me, and let me let you know the pros and the cons of all of this, all right? And, and, and how intricate this is all involved in. All right? First and foremost, um, it is big news uh, on the telecommunications front. It seems that Elon Musk, Starlink... All right, which is an ISP or internet service provider, has officially launched services in this country. Now, the company's valued at $75 billion, and it's already begun shipping out Starlink satellite connections to the Bahamas. They made the announcement on the social media app X, formerly known as Twitter, which Elon Musk owns. All right, and, and Musk is a billionaire. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. Generally speaking, the more connected Bahamians are to the global community is a good thing, right? I don't, I don't see, I mean, we got to be connected the right way. There are some concerns. There are questions. I got a lot of questions. All right, we now have a $75 billion company, Starlink, that is a subsidiary of a $137 billion company, SpaceX, also owned by Elon Musk, competing with two major telecommunications companies here in this country, Rev and BTC. How do they feel about this? And they are competing to provide internet services to Bahamians. Now, in case you missed it, there was an announcement made back in April of this year that IRCA had licensed Starlink under the name Starlink Services Bahamas Limited. Now, IRCA, you need to update your website, though, because Starlink is not showing under the list of telecommunications or data services providers. So, you know, know better, do better. Step up your game. Fix that, please. Now, if someone from America is listening, all right, please send me a link because I couldn't find it if you have updated it, all right? But apparently they've received approval to operate here this past February. Now, look at, look at what we got on the horizon. This big global multinational corporation owned by Elon Musk shipping out their equipment to the Bahamas from California. And here's how it works. 
You pay them online, and then they ship your device, your equipment here from the U.S., which you set up yourself. So they cut out the middleman, Bahamian technicians, one shot. So anybody working for Rev or for BTC that provides that kind of service in the market that we have today where Bahamians are, are, are eating and, and, and working, now they get cut right completely out. So what's your take on that? What is your take on that so far? Let me know what you think so far. Because right now, it looks kind of crazy. To me, that possibly, um, <clears throat> Bahamians are going to be displaced in all of this. Because if you're looking at it for what it's up, okay, I order said device from foreign, from the United States, they sent it to me with instructions. I set it up. Now, you know, that, that technician and make sure I'm straight from our local providers, the two companies that provide services here, now they're displaced. And listen, I, I checked it out. I look, what you do, I, I look what you have to do to sign up, text her, as you did. Okay? Now, I really didn't sign up to tell you the truth. I only saw what was going on because I happen to like my local internet service providers. And I'm a proud Bahamian. But one thing I did notice that this company, Starlink, is set up and they have a TIN, a tax identification number, and they're charging VAT. So that means inland revenue is involved. Okay? So that means it's known. They're also charging a regulatory fee. So that means they're licensed. And the Davis Cooper administration and IRCA are all good with Elon Starlink operating in our country because they've got everything that they need to operate. The big question is here, are Rev and BTC okay with this? What about Bahamians who have heavy investment in both those companies? And there are a lot of Bahamians that have heavy investments in both of those companies. Now, another question. How much is Starlink paying in taxes and business license fees? This gigantic multi-billion dollar corporation, how much you freeing up? Erka, man, you listening? I, I need some answers, please, my friends at Erka. Another question. How much are they putting back into the Bahamian economy? How much are they contributing to NIB? How, come, how much are they contributing to social programs, youth development programs, community development? How many Bahamians is Starlink employ? That's another big question. Now, if you look at the other two companies, Rev and BTC, we're talking over thousands of jobs for Bahamians. Over a thousand jobs for Bahamians. And big time, deep running investments in the country. Now, once again, why can't we hear from the AG on this? I can get to that in a second. Let me check the text lines. Hey, Naughty Starling, been here. It's more designed for Family Island customers because it's metered and the bandwidth won't be able to compete complete in Nassau, AU, with fiber. Naughty, nobody cares about BEC and BTC. Maybe they would start giving better service now, and now we need something to rival the politicians and BPL. Well, you fired up today, Tess. Here's another one. Real talk, Naughty, if I have to be a slave, I'd rather be a slave under a white man than under this government. Give me a seminar any day because... Many black Bahamians act like they had it so bad under the UPP. If whites wanted only whites in their stores, what's wrong with that? They paid for the license so they can pick shoes. And, come on, are you serious? It's 2023, brother. I get you fired up. You a 96, baby? Act like it then, because you know that kind of talk right there. That, come on, man. Listen. I understand the length and the depth that Mr. Simonet goes through and the jobs that he provides. And he's a very stand-up member of this society. Okay? And contributes a lot. But he's also benefited a lot. Okay? But for this kind of talk right here, we don't need racial talks in 2023. We got enough problems going on right now and enough things this administration and others are trying to slide on the agenda to pull up the old race card all over again. Let me, let me break it down to you. If Bahamians of different colors and complexions and skin colors and hues can procreate and have children and have all kind of beautiful little beige 
and, and darker you would mix up Kong salad, baby, then we could get along, okay? And we could vote together and pick a government. If we could marry and procreate and basically, for lack of a better word, get it on with each other, then don't give me this foolishness in 2023, okay? And thank you for, that, for trying to distract this card right there. It ain't going to work. Listen, I get some Bahamians and how they felt back in the day. I get some Bahamians, how they felt under the UBP, both white and black Bahamians. But that era is done. And look what's been spawned since. That needs to be done too. Because will we be any better after 50 years? No. But anyway, back to Starlink. Now we should, we should with all that information that I just gave you, as far as the, all the boxes they checked off to be up and running in this country, why haven't we heard anything of substance from the Attorney General? Once again, can't hear anything of substance from Mr. Ryan Pinder. Now, what I'd like for him to explain is what Starlink's intro into the Bahamian market means for Bahamians in the short term and long term and what it means for two service providers who have been in the market. And here's the juicy part. Apparently, RAG, Mr. Ryan Pinder, is one of Starlink's customers. Uh-huh. As soon as Starling tweeted they were available in the Bahamas four days ago, he tweeted that he'd already ordered his Starlink setup. He said he expects it to arrive tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And I got the screenshots, Mr. Pender, in case you try to go back and pull it off Twitter, because you know you're famous for doing that. You did that with, with, with SBF and FTX, but we can leave that. That's another story for another day. But yeah. Posting it all up over, 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 over social media. Oh, yeah. Now, check this out. Just over two and a half years after SpaceX Starlink first rolled out its beta services, the satellite internet company now has more than 1.5 million subscribers with more than 4,000 satellites operating in orbit. The Elon Musk-owned company's global coverage is active in over 50 countries around the world. Okay, that would put it at roughly 75 billion. All right, host Calcians noted, and that's in mid-November. Bloomberg reported that SpaceX was in uh, and funding talks that would value it at more than 150 billion. Musk himself said in early 2021 that Starlink would go public once its cash flow could be predicted reasonably. And listen, the, the fact that Mr. P- Pender retweeted that and, and, and tweeted so fast and replied so fast is amazing. Why can't you answer us on other things so rapidly, Mr. Pinder? It makes one wonder who, who is Mr. Pinder throwing under the bus? Or who's he dumping? Rev or BTC? Or does he got it like that that he could afford to pay all ki- for all kinds of internet providers from all over the world and from all over uh, various companies? You know, don't get me wrong. I like integration into the global community. That's where it's headed, and that's where we have to look at it. But maybe Starlink and their thousands of satellites hovering over is the thing that's making a difference in a natural disaster. Maybe not. Got to think about all of this. But ISPs have a lot of power. Internet service providers do have a lot of power. They have the potential to track Bahamians' online activity. They can also block certain websites if directed to do so by the powers that be. And it makes us wonder, if I'm not mistaken, do we have a data commissioner in place? Have we, have we, have we got one that's active in place? Or are we still waiting to put one in place? I got to research that. Um, I think we do, you know, if I'm not mistaken. I think we do. Do we have the regulatory framework in place to police Starlink? This is a $75 billion multinational company owned by Elon Musk that could potentially monitor all online activity. For instance, even if the Attorney General of the Bahamas and all Bahamians who use their product, you have a look at it like that? Their privacy policy gives them the right to track 
all of your internet activity using cookies under their terms of service. And this isn't a company headquartered in the Bahamas, people, or owned by Bahamians. It makes one ask some serious questions. Is this a national security risk? Okay, listen. The U.S. is watching Starlink. China and the European Union are also watching. So much so that they've launched alternatives, alternatives to Starlink. Now, according to a New York Times article, very interesting take here, and I quote from the New York Times, quote, Mr. Musk, who leads SpaceX, Tesla, and Twitter, has become the most dominant player in space as he has steadily amassed power over the strategically significant field of satellite internet. Yet faced with little regulation and oversight, his erratic personality-driven style has increasingly worried militaries and political leaders around the world, with the tech billionaire sometimes wielding his authority in unpredictable ways. End quote. There's another portion. Quote from the same article, The European Union, partly driven by misgivings about Starlink and Mr. Musk, also earmarked 2.4 billion euros or $2.6 billion last year to build a satellite constellation for civilian and military use. This is not just one company, but one person, said Dmitry Alpervich, a cybersecurity expert who co-founded the Silverado Policy Accelerator think tank and has advised governments on satellite internet. You are completely beholden to his whims and desires. End quote. Now, I'm just asking these questions for a country. Because you know how we go. You see what happened with FTX and SBF. You know, some hopefully we'll get the answer soon, but without a Freedom of Information Act and without a really vocal AG or this administration in general, nothing. So I would really love to hear from Rev, from BTC, from IRCA, or anyone from the Davis Cooper administration. Mi casa es tu casa. You have a platform here to come on and let's discuss it. Let's chop it up. We got to go two hours. We will. It's all good. But I want to hear, especially from Bahamians everywhere, regarding Starlink. Because I've heard from some of y'all with your text. But are y'all taking it for, for face value? Or are y'all looking how deep this iceberg runs? As a matter of fact, I can call my boy C. Allen Johnson. I want to hear what C. Allen got to say. Naughty, that guy will drag in plenty of money because it's cheap. Naughty, the government wants that, and my guess is they are saying if we can't beat them, join them. If the government didn't register this company, Bahamians would have utilized the services outside of the government purview. No that. Like with Netflix, this is strictly about money and securing VAT receipts for the government. Anyway, all Bahamians potentially, the, the, the jobs are on the line with this in, in the telecommunications sector. And guess what? I'd rather be proactive than reactive. And hopefully some of our politicians will, will take that mantle and be proactive rather than reactive. And I get where you're coming from, Texas. It's all good to each his own. But at the end of the day, you got to look at the big picture. At what price? At what price does this come with? Or what cost does this come with? What's going to be the real cost of this in the long run? All right? But y'all feel free to, 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 to meditate on it for a minute, marinate on it for a minute, and we'll continue to have this conversation because Starlink is definitely on my radar. And I need to see where this pans out. I got a lot of friends that work in the telecommunications sector, and I want to see them, you know, be in the best shape as they can be with the most level playing field they could have, and without any of them losing their jobs. Let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Get it in quick for me, caller, because we got to get to the news. Yeah, Who's yeah, this? get this one in quick, but I was hoping to hear from my bridge in C. Allen. But listen, Naughty. We can get him on. Well, along. Naughty. Thanks. I mean, I heard about the Starling, but I, I, I didn't know if it seemed right. But the thing is, I'll say this. I said it on the, t on the radio many of times. Uh, the technology and the technological advances is moving far headed than the politicians, and the technocrats know that. That is why they're under their belt, okay? Now, there's, there's a, even in the United States, the, but the, you, know, you know, of course we're lacking in, 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 in data security and uh, data ethics and all of these different things, and so 
this is a panopticon. And so even in the States, there is now a algorithmic racial uh, a, 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 a lawyer, so to speak. I, 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 that's, I don't know if that's, that's what they call a lady, but it's, it's a recent, uh, some recent episodes in which about six or seven people are being identified by algorithms incorrectly by law enforcement. And so they, they obviously the algorithms are, 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 are racial because that's the people who, who are writing them are racist. But this is all about panopticism, Naughty. That's one word I've been using all along. Most of us are embracing this digital paradigm blindly in the hopes that it will save humanity, but it will do the opposite. Give thanks. 52, always appreciate you, man. Always got good points when you chime in. Yeah, man. So you know what? Do your research, folks. Go in. All right? Because at the end of the day, it's about country first. And we can't put ourselves in jeopardy long term for short term games. And I get your point about VAT taxes, and I get your point about, you know, it being receipts for certain uh, um, administrations. I get it. Good day. In principle, Starlink is a good idea for persons to get access to the net. We need more than two companies providing services to us. Choosing in a market is the way we show our power as a consumer. Yeah, but sometimes you got to make the right choices. And sometimes choices come with long-term consequences. So that's why you got to make the best choice. Not the cheapest or quickest or most readily available. That looks good up front. That's going to come back to bite you in the bungee in the long term. But anyway... Good stuff, Texas. Good stuff, callers. We'll uh, take the break, get to the news, flip side of the news. We'll get into the 5 o'clock hour. We'll be talking sports. Pearlie will be joining us, and we'll be chopping it up. So keep it right where you got it as the Tuesday, August 15th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Ready for something very delicious this summer? Introducing the new Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte. Enjoy the bold flavors of Dunkin' Espresso and sweet, luscious strawberry, all topped with velvety whipped cream and irresistible cookie crumbles for a match made in latte heaven. Make Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte your go-to beverage this summer. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at cancercenter.com. With fine style with elegant taste, the fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. What would you do with extra cash? Plan a trip. Overhaul my wardrobe. With CIBC First Caribbean, you can get comfy with savings on your mortgage cost. Buy or build your home or switch your mortgage to us and get up to U.S. $1,000 off the loan application fee. Up to U.S. $2,000 off home insurance. With up to U.S. $10,000 towards switching costs, your pockets will be comfy too. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash get comfy for more information. Conditions apply. We're going to give you a check every week for a year. Get the flavor explosion that'll satisfy all your bacon cravings. The KFC Sweet and Smoky Bacon Sandwich from the Fried Chicken Experts features two crispy strips of bacon on a premium 100% white meat chicken filet, layered with two slices of cheese, smoky chipotle mayo, and our secret surprise, sweet bacon jam. All stacked on a buttery brioche bun. Experience the sweet and smoky explosion today, as it's here for a limited time. KFC Sweet and Smoky Bacon Sandwich. It's finger licking good. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas.
people would use. But Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by AML Foods Limited, the Bahamas Out Island Promotion Board, BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, First Caribbean Bank, Freeport News, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, Scotiabank, and Trump. We're back at you on the Tuesday, August 15th edition of Talking Heads. All right, real quick. I know Pearlie's trying to zoom in, so uh, look out for Pearlie, and we'll talk to Pearlie in one second. So let me wrap up a couple of these texts that obviously blew up as we went right to the break. Uh, Naughty, how can IRCA allow a company here to service behaviors with no technicians on the ground to ensure proper service? We are definitely the conk. <laughs> Naughty is Starling contributing to NIB. What are the... Con- what? What are they contributing to in the country to be licensed here? My God. Naughty, we know telecommunications is a multi-million dollar business. I'm interested to hear what BTC and Rev have to say about Starlink being allowed in the country. What's a small deal today may explode into a big deal tomorrow with plenty consequences for jobs. These politicians aren't serious. Naughty, so Elon slowly building up his influence to one day be prime minister, hey? <laughs> so man, look here. We already got two prime ministers already. The, the PM and then the PM of Abaclo. What else you want to you This could be the PM of, of, of I, internet service providing it. Naughty. So how the AG already promoting Starlink like Bahamians don't have shares in Rev and BTC? You can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> Shaking my head. Boy, if I worked at BTC or Rev, I would be trying to link up with Starlink because it looked like they have some serious power. Elon got the juice, eh? Shaking my head. But you are shaking your head plenty today, but but I, I don't know. What can you do? Here's another one. Go, a naughty good afternoon. The government is collecting $18 a month in taxes from Starlink. Sorry, $18 million a month? How much? $18 a month? You said 18 Now, what is that? Let me, let me know how, how you mean in that. You mean in a million or a billion or 1,800? What is it? So that's in the service because internet service in the family island from both Rev and BTC is, is, is not good. If, if you're lucky, you can get six megs of service or it keeps dropping off. Starlink, 350 meg. The utility companies refuse to provide better service for family islands, residents. I see no, no other option for the family islands, especially us in the southern Bahamas. I get your point. I get your point. $18 a month. Now, is that obviously per per unit? But still. Ah, oh boy. The more things change, the more they stay the same. So what's that? that's a good question, Tex. So what is, the, what is the union saying about all of this? Very interesting. That's more for us to talk about tomorrow, but right about now, we're into the 5 o'clock hour. Good stuff, everybody who chimed in, too. That's why I wanted to make sure I get your contributions on. We got Pearly zoomed in. Pearly. Right there, right there, right there. Boy. Hiding in the deep, in the deep. I ain't going to the deep, you know. Got my anchor drop, trying to pick up two fists. Boy, look at so you. Maybe two, you know, two lobster tail. I know, I right here, boy. You hear that Starlink? We got to talk about Starlink, boy. I it, I yeah, I got to do a little, I got to read up on it. I can send you some information to read, too, boy. Boy. Okay. Anyway, let me take this one call and then we can do what we got to do. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, Billy. I mean, uh, I just want to congratulate our team, our basketball team. Uh-huh. I know you can talk about that later. That was awesome. That, that, that big smack down the lid on Cuba. On Cuba. And I, I think we can go far, you know. I think yeah. so also. I, th- I think we can make a good run of it. Yeah, I think we can make a real, real, real great run and I and this is the first time we ever had those you know that call the year not to say that the players was in call the year players but I'm talking about like all the other teams and stuff they have the NBA stars coming to play so we we, we, we got us it's great so I know you can talk about it later so I'll continue to listen 
All right, man. I appreciate hearing you from, uh, from you as always. Right. And yeah, we will chop right. it up on that, man. We will definitely talk about it in short order. All right. All right. So, Pearly, we got that to yes, talk sir. about. We got a couple other things to talk about. Yes. So, uh, let me knock out today in sports history. Brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. And then we'll get into that, to that home court. Or brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. We got to right talk here. about we started talking about yesterday. Yes. So, you know, and then obviously we got to talk about that team Bahamas basketball wise. No Kai Jones, though. Conspicuous by his absence. He wasn't there. No, he oh, wasn't there. Later. No, he wasn't there. I, I, I think Charlotte may be holding him back because I think maybe a preseason trade or a post uh, training camp trade is in the works. Yeah, but you can't. Anyway, all right. They can all, they can invoke that clause now. Remember now, he's the assets of the property of. Especially since if they believe that can challenge one certain other team. Correct. Hmm. You look at all the strategy playing in. But I do you know that did you know that little league changes rules back in the day to ensure that an American team played for the championship every time because the foreign the other teams were beating up on them like crazy. They was tired of Taiwan, and Taipei, and Japan, and and all of them. Remember China? Remember when we was growing up and watching ABC Wide World of Sports? Every time they had Little League World Series, one of them Asian teams would always win. Yep, like the World Baseball Classic. <laughs> My God. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at what happened on this day in sports history. I brought you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Nineteen seventy, Mrs. Pat. Palinkas became the first woman to play in a pro football game, and she held the ball for the Orlando, Florida Panthers. 1984, Pete Rose returned to become player and manager of the Cincinnati Reds. He had been away from his hometown for six years. Rose had been in Philadelphia and Montreal. 1990, Mark McGuire. Had- yeah, he, still, he needs to be in the hall. All things considered yeah. and all, all what they accepted nowadays. Come on, man. 1990, Mark McGuire had a grand slam in the 10th inning to become the first woman in his first four seasons. The Oakland A's beat the Boston Red Sox 6-2. 1993, Nolan Ryan got his 324th and final victory. The Texas Rangers beat the Indians 4-1. 1997, Dan Wilson hit the 3,000th Seattle Mariners home run in franchise history. 1997, the Los Angeles Dodgers retired Tommy Lasorda's number two. The great Tommy. Cut me now and I bleed Dodger blue. And your quote of the day is, confidence is a very fragile thing. Joe Montana. Uh, yeah, Joe, Joe hurt my heart many, many times. You ain't got to tell me about Joe hurting my heart. Oh, yeah, he really hurt your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got to tell me. He, does hurt, he, he more or less hurt my pocketbook. That's what it does. And you didn't have to say nothing. You only said that because indirectly you know it, the shade would ripple off. I was trying to be clever. You know, I did go to Senegal. You're trying to be a smart you-know-what. <laughs> what yeah, to to. Anyway, true. so... Uh, we, we got to talk a lot of sports today there, Pearly. Uh, have you heard any fallout uh, from what we spoke about yesterday regarding... Since, to hear from the BBA. So, I don't want to say so that that's Wednesday. Be, Correct. Be that's tomorrow. Be tomorrow. All right. Well, just reconfirm that because yeah. a lot of people I, I, this, have this been talking and from, asking questions. I can say and, this much. From, with the rumor mills, this is far from over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll see how far, you know, you know, the... the, the, the yeah. The power brokerage reaches in this country. We can see. We shall see. We can see. We can see how serious the power brokers in this country are about developing sports for the young people. That's all I can say. All right. Well, let's uh, have a gander as to what's going on locally in the sports scene, so we can get everybody caught up to snuff. Well, I'm all excited about by Burger King Nassau. Up. Uh, the Bahamas blows out Cuba. We already talked about that. We mentioned that. I, and, and I think, listen, to be honest with you, the team has a lot of potential. I would really like to see them try to get Kai Jones on that on that roster. Yeah, go on with that. But uh, but if you look at the team, and I, I saw some of the highlights, and of course the highlights only the better players, but still, Air Garden seems to have brought some chemistry to the team. In terms of, you know, ball distribution and all that. And it also you know, makes it easy for Buddy to shoot because guess what? If you double Buddy, Eric Gordon will drill you from deep. I was getting there. 
And then DeAndre just looked like a beast. Yeah, I mean, he was just manhandling and this, he just controlling the, the, the inside all night long. It why is, is why really... can't play like that for Phoenix every night? Why can't play like that no, night every night for Phoenix? That, you understand that? The, the, the brother's been going through some stuff in terms of, you know, and I think this may be the wake up call and the opportunity but, for him to send a message to bring this spill over into the NBA season. That's Some why really put him on for him to succeed. That's why I'm saying it like that. Why can't he? He's got all the tools. Go do it. Young rumble, young he's man, rumble. Oh, he yeah, got he, the he, tools. He, that he, was, he dominated Cuba. That's the and I tell you, we don't Cuba used to do us bad, but I remember Cuba beating up on us before. But he did his thing, man. And, yeah. and and they started off slow, but they came back and won one oh one to sixty eight. Yeah, that's, yeah. Or, or more, 109 to 68. And, you know, and, there's, and the Americans look pretty good, but, you know, the Americans don't have the best, the best of the best there, so anything can happen. Anything can happen is correct. I, I tell you, one of my famous uh, sports quotes of all time is by Chris Berman. That is why they play the game. Exactly. It is very true. It's easy to talk, but you know what walk. Um... Buddy had 24, 10 to 20 shooting, 50%. That, yep. that, that's awesome. Yep. 4 or 12 from deep. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Six rebounds, five assists, two steals. Uh, and then Aiden had 22 points on 10 for 14 shooting. That's what you need to do. Pack the lane down there with, with the big man. Was he, double figures in, was he double figures in points? Yes, he had 22 on 10 for 14 I mean, I mean, shooting. Sorry, in rebounds. In rebounds and sorry, 10 in rebounds. rebounds. He had a double-double. Yeah, yeah, double-double. And that's how you do it. Yep. And obviously, you know, he had his wing. So let's yep, see. Yep. Let's yep. see. Some other news. Have you, kid, have you had another kid that put up like 18 points too? I didn't really, I didn't know who he was. Franco Miller. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. Got it out in 17. Miller added, added 19. I mean, hey, they're doing their thing. Okay. And Ben Gordon and Aiden play on the Suns together. So that might be some, some chemistry, too. If, if Gordon could get it in his ear going into Phoenix and them two could build up some sort of relationship, they yeah. might have some chemistry in the regular season. Yeah. All spawned Gordon off this. Phoenix, right? Gordon is going to Phoenix? Correct. Oh, that's good. That's good. You see what I mean? And that teammates on the Suns. So that, that might work out, too, with a little chemistry with them. Uh, yeah. Another big headline: Babe Ruth throws his supporter uh, behind uh, Burrow Senior. We we broke that yesterday, and obviously we'll yeah, pick it yeah, up tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah, then uh, yeah, the soccer is on the horizon. Men and women's teams to compete next month. Super. All right. And uh, yeah, this is this is I, you guys gotta ask this question: uh, This field or beach? No, no, no. This field, the Bahamas men and uh, women's national soccer teams are, are gearing up for Confederation of North Central American and Caribbean oh, yeah. Associations football level. Uh, the men will experience action in the Nations League competition, and the women will compete in the 2023 Road to CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup. It is the first ever Road to CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup, and the Bahamas women will look to book a spot in the CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup. Where are they playing? Did I'm, say? I'm getting to that right now. Both teams have been okay. training almost daily as they prepare to take on the various teams from the region. The men's team schedule and opening games are, are now known. As they get their league B Group D action underway with a home game against Puerto Rico. That game will be held at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium in New Providence on Saturday, September 9th. It gets underway at I'm 6 there. p.m. I'm in the second game, they will make a trip down south to take on Guyana at the National Track and Field Center in uh, Lenore, Guyana. The match game. will get underway at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, September 12th. Those three teams are in Group D along with Antigua and Barbuda. And it's a tough group for the Bahamas, which is the lowest ranked team in the group at number 197 worldwide. The other fixtures will be released at a later date. The Bahamas has uh, Puerto Rico and Guyana in 2021. Now, let me look at uh, a B7 here, Purdy, so I know where the ladies are playing. Because we want to know exactly where um, that ends up. Um, da, 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 da. now let's see, uh, after two year hiatus due to global pandemic, the Bahamas women's national team is making a comeback. They're in league C group with, uh, the U S Virgin islands and Grenada. Right. Their first match is a home game scheduled for Wednesday, September 20th against Grenada. 
This will be followed by an away match against the same team on Sunday, September 24th. So there you have it. Some homes and away. So they then they play home the 20th, and then they quickly jump on the plane, fly to Grenada to play the 24th in Grenada. Yeah, man. Wow. That's okay. the travel schedule they got. That's what they got to roll with. Wow, okay. Yeah, now pretty much wraps up that that local sports well, the scene. Thing about it is, the good thing about it is it, it won't be like the Grenadian team will be sitting there waiting on them. They traveling with them. Correct. So that could be a, so that could leave about two or three players that are key players to stay at home to be rested. Yeah, that that makes sense. I mean, at least that's fair. That that the travel schedule is for both teams. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. So let's see how that all pans out in the long run. Okay. If, if it's an advantage or if it's a disadvantage, how we fare right, here yeah, or how yeah, we fare there. The only, the only advantage would be Grenada's going home, and there's a feeling of coming home of nostalgia and the fans there to support you. So that's the only the only advantage I would give them, that home cooking. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, if you're familiar with a team and you play them within a couple of days, you can play on the road and still make it again. So tell the team, bring me some of that good Grenada coffee. I'll be good. <laughs> you and your coffee. I you love it. and your coffee. Yep, I'm not myself unless I have my cup. You're not yourself unless you have that air fat fryer, I believe, personally. No, that's the, the afternoon occasion. That's the afternoon occasion, you know. You know, last night I did some nice some nice barbecue lamb chops. It came out really, really Stop nice. Stop it. Nice. No, barbecue lamb chops I did. Uh-oh. You know, you're branching out. You stepped away from the honey glazed. No, no, I no, I I do honey garlic. Sometimes I do barbecue. I do, you know, it depends on what my recipe calls for. I have like a number of recipes that I researched and saved that are geared towards air fryers. Naughty Phoenix doesn't run plays for Aiton off the text lines. Well, maybe that might change with a new coach, Chris Paul not well, being this- there. It might be a little different this go around. Yeah, but the text is correct. They don't run plays for him. They they run maybe out of all the plays, maybe less than five percent of the plays were called for him to run, if that many. But this coach was insistent on him not going anywhere that he has plans for him. So, it, based on that team, they should be running plays through him. He should be really leading. He should be one of the first centers in a long time to lead the league in assists. Because I would be running plays through him because you got you got you got to you know. <laughs> You got to wade through it. You got, you got, you got scorers coming. So if you're running it through you, you, he's, you know, he comes. He, he and and then if the fair of him kicking it out the game, you know, but open it up for him, he should be able to score a million and a three half points. A if million and three half points. points. He can lead the lead in scoring and rebounds because with with those two guys playing the perimeter with Eric Gordon, that's you, you, you need to um, play some defense on them and shit. Just open up the inside for him. Ain't like shot got it. That's true. That's true. So we'll see. Now, we got to talk about some other things there, Pearly. What do you want to talk about, man? I'm open. I'm open. And I'm, you know, my daughters are back. back. We took these off last night. We're back. Um, the brewers coming into town. I hope they bring some of that good um, Milwaukee beer. Well, let's get into to who's in and who's out. All oh. brought you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. Hey. Yeah, big up to, to Chef Carmen and the crew. Um, and, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you know, listen now, you know, Chef Chef, Chef is, is our guy. Chef I've said, known Chef all my life. I've, I've literally known him all, we've known each other all and our lives. And life. just like I alluded to, Charlotte, the, uh, the ticket, they, they've pulled in their exclusive rights uh, option. And um, apparently nursing a groin injury. Oh boy. Kept okay. him in, in Charlotte. And uh-huh. of course, obviously, because there's been rumblings that it could be a pre training camp or a post training camp trade involving him. Okay. So Charlotte exercised that, right? That, 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 um, um, right. What they call it. Okay. And, and you know, you know, Chef well, is, is, is tight with his he pops. Gets, I hope he does. I mean, hope he does. I mean, if he has a grind, I don't even say hope he does. I hope he doesn't because you don't want him to be hurt. But um, I understand. But um, yeah, you know, Chef is tight with the family. So that, that's good to know. You know what I mean? Okay, all right. Um, so Earl, we have a text so that chimed in and said, Earl, so, so a question from a text to Pearly. Are you chiming in, chiming in from Rev, BTC, or Starlink? I know how you go. You and Elon might be tight. He's a Dodger fan, too. 
No, no, I am, I am, I am, um, I have a live phone. I'm going through on Zoom. Okay, so you're not on Starlink. No, 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 no. <laughs> Are you just making sure. Yeah. I one thing with me. Let me let me tell you one thing with me. I'm a pretty loyal guy, you know. Man, you know, listen. You know, my dad's just got to. I've been a Dodger fan since 1972. I've been a Dolphin fan since 1970. Sorry to hear I've that. Laker fan. I've been a Laker fan since but 1969, 70. When when you used to watch the game Friday nights, 11:30 tape delay on CBS Channel Four. You better have Montana because you couldn't watch it. I've been a Will Chamberlain Laker fan. So I I I, I you know the blows I've taken in all leagues. I still there. All right. Well, you I've been, know, I've been friends with you for hundred years, and you know we cuss each other stick, but I still there. I loyal. Yeah, you loyal for real. You know, only one point. Anyway, let me go. Keep carrying on. You can drive on. people to curse you too, but you're still loyal. That's why we, we stay loyal to. <laughs> one, one of one of my colleagues that 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 um that works with, and you know works for me said one thing when you not I mean you could row and then half an hour later it's just like ain't nothing happened. I said, we got way to do. When I go hold right, I don't say what I had to say. You had to say, you had to say, let's move on. I got Every row again, I might bring up a Tuesday, but me and Robert, now we wait again. I got, I got one for you, too. Naughty tell Pearly, loyalty don't stop the Dolphins from, choke and, from choking and the Dodgers from choking. Jeff, Jeff, no, I only, that ain't no true. That ain't Jeff. That was just me playing the role of Jeff. I oh, just I wanted to say that. <laughs> but I'm sure Jeff would appreciate it. I'm sure he would. Because I sound just like Jeff. <laughs> All right, so Pearly, right. go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Sorry. I, I, I want you to have a look at this, man. I got uh, coerced into a dynasty league. You know, I've been talking about playing dynasty fantasy for a while, right? How to get in on the ground level. You don't want to get in two or three years in and you pick up somebody's team and then you got to try and make, make it work with what they left you, you know? And with dynasty, it, it's big because you draft everybody and then you keep your team. So you have to rely on drafting rookies and younger players. You don't want to just go for the long and the two veterans, you know? You want to have a good balance. So uh, okay. the draft went down yesterday. Well, between today and yesterday and today, because, you know, you draft 20, 21 rounds, and then you draft, have a five-round rookie draft after that. And then you wow. have a, a taxi squad draft after that. So you end up with 28 players that you have to manage. You sound like a four-figure entry fee. Yeah, and this is a solid boy now. This, this, for master, this is a master class for sure. All right. So I got the first pick, and I just want to let you oh. know what I, you what I ended up with. Just listen to what I ended up with, all right? Because remember now, I picked first, but then I had to let all them picks go up and come back down before I, you know, because it's a snake draft. Many, pick first and first round. Eight? 12. Okay, all right. But you remember now, you're picking 20, 20 21 rounds. I, I don't know who your number one pick is. Why are you stalling? Oh, Patty Mahomes. I remember. You took Patty Mahomes over Jeffries? Yeah, man, I took Pat, I took Pat Mahomes over Jeffries because I had a, a method to my madness. All right, all right. Let me hear. Let me hear. And then at my running back position, this is where, you know, I got two steals, like real absolute steals, like right from under their nose. J.K. Dobbins, fully recovered, ready to run the rock in Baltimore. Todd oh, Monken okay. is, 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 is going to run the ball to take it take less off of Lamar Jackson having to run. Let me ask you a question before you go in. Are you trying to convince yourself? I just want to hear the plan. No, no, let no, no. I'm only explaining that to you because you're a fantasy guy. You know, Dobbins been injured the last couple of years. Just yeah, came no, back. Been injured. I had back to full, right, back to full strength last year toward the end. Ready to go this year. Now, here was another steal. Alexander Madison in Minnesota. He's getting all the carries now from the departed Dalvin Cook. They re-signed him and let Cook go. That's why they, that's why they re-signed. They signed him at a, a less salary because he could do the same things Cook could do. That's, a, that's and, a really good pick. And he's only 24. So for a dynasty league, I get him for a couple of years. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, here come the wide receivers, all right? Wide receivers are Devontae Smith of the Philadelphia Eagles. Best position, best player I threw up in my mouth when I took it because he's an eagle. But nonetheless, got him. Got Jahan Dotson from the Washington Redskins, who broke out as a rookie last in. year. And, um, you know, I mean, from, from the commander, sorry. And, um, commander's yeah, he got injured, but then finished strong. They're going to let Terry McLaurin walk this year for the big contract. So he's going to be the man for the foreseeable future in Washington. So that works yeah. out. And Thanks of course, that ain't too much this year. Of course, it's a super flex league. So you get to play two quarterbacks. So, you know, I, I got Dak Prescott there. 
and took Brandon. But I know you wasn't gonna let him go. No, but I mean, when you play in two quarterbacks, you got to You got to get two. And, and I. Yeah, but who was all the choices when you had a chance to pick him? I, 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 I picked him in the fifth round, and and pretty much it was getting into the Baker Mayfield category. Then all the big names had gone. Dudes were drafting quarterbacks back to back. All Some right. of them came out picking two. Like one one picked in the first round. He picked uh, Trevor Lawrence with one pick, and on the next pick, he turned around and took um, Herbert because he, he was on the turn. So you All got right, you so got two you got. quarterbacks. So you, you play two quarterbacks every week, but then um, you also play defensive players. I got uh, Butker, the kicker from from Kansas City, and my tight end is oh some kid named Travis Kelsey. By the way, oh beautiful pick, good beautiful, beautiful <laughs> pick. <laughs> and then about, so you play so you play individual defenders or you play a team defense? No no no, we got individual defenders playing in this bad boy. Oh boy, you play a linebacker. <laughs> My defense. I, I know you got your boy. Bro. I know. No. Who you got? Who you got? Somebody took Michael Massey in the fourth round, dude. I blame him. I had to take him too. That's but point. anyway, That's I took point. I took Greg Rousseau from the Buffalo Bills, former <laughs> UM product. And I wouldn't blame against Miami though. But anyway, that's a good pick. Then I took Bobby Okariki, who's the linebacker for New York, signed a contract in New York this year, but been leading the league in tackles the last two years in Carolina. The Jets. And uh, no, no. The Giants. The Giants. And then my defensive back, it could have been a corner or it could have been a safety, but safety gets you more points, so I took Minka Fitzpatrick. Good pick. Now, here's something that's going to warm your heart, though. All right? It's going to warm your heart. You got it. You are backups for all of them. Just know that, that my other backup defensive lineman is from Miami by the name of Jalon Phillips. I went UM, both guys from my defensive line from that, from that you, you UM want, squad. You want, you, want, you want me to tell you something with that? You can end up starting him before the season out. Buddy, why I drafted him is he has a double marking on, on the list, linebacker or defensive lineman, so I could put him at the linebacker spot and still leave Rousseau in as the defensive lineman. Okay, okay, okay. So he did my homework, did my homework. And then, you know, I had Donovan Wilson available, uh, another, you know, up-and-coming safety in the league. I think he's going to do well this year. Scored a ton of points fantasy-wise last year. I think he'll do well this year. And then I went for the, Donovan Wilson, safety okay. from the Cowboys. Yeah, and yeah. Then, I, yeah, then, I, then I went for the future, man. I have uh, Rashid Shahid, wide receiver from New Orleans. Khalil Shakir, wide receiver from Buffalo. And then I got Isaiah Pacheco, the running back from Kansas City. So I got some good young players to carry me into the future. And we got the rookie okay. draft coming up tonight, too, where we draft all the rookies from the first round. So I still got a shot at Bajon Robinson and a couple other good studs. 18. Trust me. 18. Trust me. Yeah, buddy, don't talk it. He give you points and runs and catches. Buddy, I going to snag him. If I if I get the turn right, I going for Deuce Vaughn at 12, and then when I come back on the clock at number one in the second round, I chain the two of them back to back. My running back set for the future, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I chain can be, he can be something good. And obviously the with, the that, with, the, with the, with the, with the, don't, 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 don't let anybody believe that the Jets outbid the Dolphins for the Alvin Cook. The Dolphins didn't need Dalvin Cook. It would have been a pleasure to have him. They know what they're doing. They know what their future brings. So they're holding our future money for something else. Correct. So, yeah, there you have it. That's, uh, that's, um, that, yeah. that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, man. And I got, I got a couple more picks to make, so we'll see how it goes. A lot of parity in the league, too. A lot of dudes reach, too. So that allowed some other things to drop the right way. So we'll see where okay. it all ends up. But you always have that one person who's the thing they're the most expert of the of the fantasy draft and never ever has been the league. Yep, and that's why I'm glad a couple other dudes popping off at the caller right now. Let them be that guy. I'm just gonna lay in the cut. Never gonna get a chance. I gotta take a kicker late. You know who I can take? I can take. I just for you, Pearly. I can take Sanders from Miami. Good pick. Good pick. All right. And right being, now, the the thing about it is. The Dolphins can move up the field so you can get plenty of yards from your wide receivers and they can get plenty of opportunities. They may get stalled, maybe, but he can get a lot of opportunities to kick field goals and extra points. There you go. He's a good pick. With your quarterback saying somebody took two early, but another one of them quarterback Jones says they grabbed two early. If people really look at it, people keep this in two because he got hurt. If two, if, and that's for any quarterback, stays healthy, he's going to pick the league to pieces. He had a 105 quarterback rating. If he stays healthy, he could be all right. If he stays healthy, he's going to be as competitive. I ain't no Patrick Mahomes. I don't fool him. I fool myself now. 
but he's going to be, I think he can be a top 10 quarterback in the NFL this year if he's healthy. And maybe, and, 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 and closer to five than to 10. Now, now, now you're running, now you're running out a little bit now. Ooh, I you're said this year, I say, see you, I'm not talking career, I'm talking <laughs> 2023, 20, 24. I got you. Listen, we got a good take with, with Colin Cowherd today, too. Yesterday, we had Rich Eisen, right? Rich is good. Now we got Cowherd today breaking it down. And, and, and Cowherd breaking it all down today, all right? And this is what I like about uh, Cowherd today. He, 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 went, he went there. He went there with uh, Trey Lance's struggles, Calvin okay. Ridley's return, and the potential of Will Levis being the uh, next quarterback in uh, Tennessee. People, Levitt is going to make Tana Hill show let the people know why Tana shouldn't let me. Anyway, you know, I don't like Tana Hill. I mean, might, but I, I don't know. That, that piece might just be a little long. I got another good one by Rich. The top five chip on their shoulder NFL players for 2023. I think that right there might be a good one. I like that one before. I want to hear that, yeah. I, I think I think that, that's what we're going to go with today with Richie Eisen taking us home. So let's take this break real quick, Pearly. And then on the flip side of the break, we'll do our island game picks real quick. And then we'll get to, to Richie Eisen, because time really flying I'll, today. I'll be right here. All right. Don't put me on mute and don't fall in, in, in the air fryer. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> okay. as the Tuesday, right. August 15th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Attention all KFC lovers. Are you ready to get crazy on Tuesdays? Now you can get five juicy mouth-watering pieces of KFC chicken for only $10. It's crazy. Five pieces of world-famous KFC chicken, handmade with a secret blend of scent spices for only $10. Don't miss out. This crazy offer is only on Tuesdays and only at KFC. KFC Nassau. It's finger-licking good. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. Hey, it's your boy, Charlie Bahama, and let me tell you about a deal you can't afford to miss. It's the two fly free from Nassau promotion. You heard me right. Two people can fly free from Nassau. Just go to BahamasResidence.com for all the details so you can start your vacay today. There are 10 participating islands with 35 amazing hotels to choose from. You can go to Abaco, Acklands, Andrus, Bimini, Cat Island, Eleuthera, Harbor Island, Exuma, Long Island, or San Salvador. There's so much to do on all these islands, you just may want to go to a few. And why not? With the two fly free from Nassau deal, it's like getting an island family. Go with friends. Arrange a fun out-of-the-box business meeting or retreat. Your co-workers or employees will love you. Or go on an adventure with the guys. Or a girl's getaway from the guys. Or a romantic trip for two. Whatever you do, you'll thank me. Visit BahamasResidence.com for more information. That's BahamasResidence.com Are you dreaming of the perfect summer getaway? Apply for a debt consolidation or personal loan to win an airline ticket to Paris, Miami, or New York. Win up to $2,500 in cash and more. For details, call 356-7764 for Nassau, 602-6811 for Freeport, 823-4374 for Abaco. Gonna give you a check every week for a year. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Game keep you in it. Percy's Pension Plan. Dream big, we will help you live it. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Game, we got you. Percy's Pension Plan. From the friends you can trust. It's winning is a must. Come play the game you know, cause your best chance is with us. The members, Percy's Island Game. So put 20 on your account and ride this easy train at Percy's Island Game. Okay, school bag, books, pencils, uniform, oh lord. And I gotta buy snacks too? Just lay it on the, line. the Guardian Media Group and AML Foods want to help families in need with our first ever Back to School Snackathon. What's a snackathon? Well, 
we want to help by assisting in donating school snacks to children that may need them as they head back to school this year. To be a part of our Snackathon, all you have to do is shop at your favorite Solomon Superstore or Fresh Market. At Let's the store, go. you can donate your pre-existing loyalty okay. points or you can donate cash directly at the register. Every single penny will go towards purchasing snacks that will be donated for distribution by the Bahamas Feeding Network and Hands for Hunger. Together, we can ensure that every child that opens their backpack this year will have a snack and a smile. Get involved, get involved. This is 9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Talking Heads continues right now. Uh, text, uh, uh, Naughty, what's your take on the uh, in the tournament in the NBA and what the sack fella got on the deep fry this evening? Just don't say uh, burgers because that's what the Dodgers just choke on too. They love to choke on them burgers. Now, that's no, Jeff. We have, we have burgers and we have Dodger dogs and, and, and Dodger Jeff. Stadium. Dodger that, that's dogs. Jeff. Nah, that's Jeff giving it to you. I, I know that's Jeff, but tell him that's all right. We're doing better than the Yankees. Jeff, we can talk <laughs> about that NBA in-season tournament tomorrow. I, I got some interesting points I, I want to bring up on that, so we will talk about that tomorrow. Um, Pearly, real quick, hey. who we got tonight? Who you like tonight? I'm going to put it on you tonight, man. Give me four. Set and forget with the Island game. You got two minutes. Definitely, definitely it'll be the Dodgers over the uh, Brewers. I like the... Oh, boy. I like the Phillies over the Blue Jays. I'm a man I like of the Braves. I like the Braves over the Yankees. And I like the Orioles over the Padres. I like the Orioles over the Padres too. That's my four. I go in with them. If I win, I can let and, you know. And if somebody want to, if somebody have a few hard feelings about one of those teams and no one bad against them, I'll take the Red Sox over the Nationals as the fifth. Red Sox over the Nationals, that's a good one right there too. I can make that a five team parlay. Yeah. If I win, I can let right. you know. If I lose, it's your fault. All right, no problem. All right, and remember, you can bet it, set, and forget it with the Island Game, all right? Each and every day, check out theislandgame.com. they got an awesome sports book, multiple ways to play, and guess what? Multiple ways to win, and guess what? NFL right around the corner, college football right around the corner, and don't forget, oh, Percy's yeah. pension plan is back. So be sure Georgia to check out one. theislandgame.com. All right, appreciate you, Pearly. we got to get to the break. Flip side of the break, Rich Tyson taking us home. Good stuff today, everybody who texted in and called in the first hour. Good stuff in the second hour, and Pearly will do it again tomorrow, man. Take time, my brother. All right. Be good, man. If you can't be good, be good at it. We'll see you, Mayana. Deuces. Ready for something very delicious this summer? Introducing the new Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte. Enjoy the Dunkin' Espresso and sweet, luscious strawberry, all topped with velvety whipped cream and irresistible cookie crumbles for a match made in latte heaven. Make Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte your go-to beverage this summer. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. As a parent and pediatrician, I know how important it is to keep our little ones up to date with their childhood immunizations. When your little ones are immunized, they have protection against diseases like measles, whooping cough, and polio, which has a treatment or cure. When the immunized child is exposed to the germs that cause these diseases, their immune system is prepared to fight immediately, preventing sickness and even death. Parents have been doing this for years to protect their children. Now keep your little ones safe. Vaccines are essential for new and returning students. As you begin back-to-school preparations, ensure that your children's vaccinations are up to date. All vaccines are available at all public health clinics. This message is brought to you by PAHO WHO, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and USAID. 
Put your best foot forward this school year by shopping at John's for your back-to-school foot care needs. From toddlers to college students, have your child looking smart in a pair of Hush Puppies, Sperry, Easy Strider brand styles, and many more. Durable and sharp, the kids will step with confidence all year. Need socks and a belt? We've got you covered. And don't forget a new backpack and lunch containers. You can find all this and more at the best prices and customer service in town at John's on Rosetta Street and Carmichael Road. John's, we put fashion at your feet. What would you do with extra cash? Plan a trip. Overhaul my wardrobe. With CIBC First Caribbean, you can get comfy with savings on your mortgage cost. Buy or build and get up to U.S. $1,000 off the loan application fee. Up to U.S. $2,000 off home insurance. With up to U.S. $10,000 towards switching costs, your pockets will be comfy too. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash get comfy for more information. Conditions apply. Okay, school bag, books, pencils, uniform, Oh, Lord. And I got to buy snacks, too? Just lay it on the, line. the Guardian Media Group and AML Foods want to help families in need with our first ever Back to School Snackathon. What's a snackathon? Well, we want to help by assisting in donating school snacks to children that may need them as they head back to school this year. To be a part of our snackathon, all you have to do is shop at your favorite Solomon Superstore or Fresh Market. At the store, you can donate your pre-existing loyalty points or you can donate cash directly at the register. Every single penny will go towards purchasing snacks that will be donated for distribution by the Bahamas Feeding Network and Hands for Hunger. Together, we can ensure that every child that opens their backpack this year will have a snack and a smile. Get involved, get involved. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Want to reach your Grand Bahama customers? Then call Barefoot Marketing at 827-4578 or message them for ad rates via their Facebook page. Advertising opportunities now include classified ads too. Keep up with all the latest Grand Bahama news in the Nassau Guardian newspaper every Tuesday. This is Guardian Radio. 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. I'm a man of my word. I have a new top five list. Hey. Top five players with the biggest chip on their shoulder in 2023. Let's go. Everybody's got a chip on their shoulder. Like, for instance, we have one here on the show we're very proud of what we do here obviously and so let's just say somebody who's been with the show since day one after the commercial break after we say goodbye to justin jefferson in our first zoom said he felt like he was actually working the faders on a real show i said back (laughs) way to out yourself mike i got a chip on my shoulder i like the remote so i understand about shoulder chips and the sizes of said chips on shoulders. Barbecue or sour cream and onion? Number five on this list. (laughs) Everybody saw what he did last year. And for that, what does he get? Everybody wondering if the team should hold on to him and trade him instead for the first overall pick, some kid out of Alabama. Justin Fields has a huge ass chip on his shoulder. Everybody saw what he did last year with hardly anybody he's playing with. Getting his ass beat behind that line. The reason why he's out there, right, is because he could run away from the defenders as opposed to another sitting duck back there. And after all of that, everyone's wondering, maybe the Bears should just get rid of him and start fresh with Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud, who he actually uh, showed the ropes to in Columbus. I think Justin Fields has got one of the biggest chips on his shoulder entering the season. He's number five on this list. Number four on this list. You know, a lot of folks were questioning why he went where he went. Because aren't you supposed to ring chase when you are a free agent? Aren't you supposed to do that when you're towards the end of your career? But everybody thinks he's at the end of his career right now. Shot. How much did you hear about this guy maybe not being as good anymore? Hmm. 
while he was on his free agency tour because the team just said, you're out. I think DeAndre Hopkins is a pretty huge chip on his shoulder this year. Interesting. To show, you know what? I am one of the best receivers in this game. I'm no longer on that top 10 list. I'm seeing Tyreek Hill there. I'm seeing Justin Jefferson. Everybody talking about Devontae Adams. Who's talking about DeAndre Hopkins is one of the best receivers in the league anymore? Nobody's talking about the Titans at all. About Bingo. anything. So the team has got a bunch of chips on their shoulder and nobody bigger than this guy's. Number three. He's a flag planter. He's a guy <laughs> who's out of options. You can't quit this, dude. <laughs> oh, I can't. Baker Mayfield wakes up dangerous with a huge chip on his shoulder. And nobody thinks he can do it anymore. And he's going to one of the best wide receiver tandems in the NFL. This just in. Mike Evans is walking through that door. Chris Godwin is walking through that door. If the Baker Mayfield that plants flags in the middle of Columbus, Ohio, and refuses to shake hands in the middle of Cleveland, Ohio, with a coach that he thought didn't believe in him, I need that Baker Mayfield to show up in Tampa, Florida, every single day, and I think it will. Baker Mayfield's number three on this list. Number two on this list. You want to talk about quarterback sent packing? This team made his wife cry on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the Raiders made Derek Carr's wife cry on Christmas. And then gave away his number. And gave his number to <laughs> Aiden O'Connell of Purdue. A walk-on at Purdue. Derek Carr's number four is being worn by somebody else right away in Vegas. He was the one who was showing up to the Pro Bowl Skills Challenge in Vegas with a chip on his shoulder. How's it going to be in New Orleans this fall? Derek Carr is number two on this list. So who could possibly be number one on this list? The number one players, plural, with the biggest chips, plural, on their shoulders in 2023 is every running back in the National Football League. Uh, <laughs> Name one. They've got the biggest chip on their shoulder. They are Zooming, texting, and they are pissed. All of them. You won't pay me. You think I'm undervalued. Now, wait till you see what I'm going to show you how you value us. Every single one of them, Eckler, Saquon, Dalvin, Zeke, name it. McCaffrey is pissed. Derrick Henry is pissed. Josh Jacobs, you got to sign your tender, brother. Come on now. Or hold out, what, one more week? Because now you know that Dalvin is signed and Zeke is signed and the Raiders aren't going to pull the tender on you to start Kareem Hunt or Leonard Fournette, with all due respect to those guys. These guys, when they get on the field this year, are going to run with light pockets. Miles Sanders, keep naming it, is out to show everybody in a front office what they're worth and how valuable they are. That's my top five. Yeah, we need one okay. more. Okay. All right, we'll get one more. All right. I'm naming him because he always has a chip on his shoulder. And you know he is going to supersize it just because that's his way of going about his business. I'm putting Jalen Hurts on this list. This guy. He played in the Super Bowl I last year. I <laughs> know what you're saying. But that's him. And that's what makes him great. That's what got him to the Super Bowl last year. You know he is sitting there every day steaming about something. I'm sure he's happy. Looks at his bank account. Make you happy. I'm sure he looks out at his team and they look back at him. Happy. We just hung up in hour number two with the player that's just one spot above him on the top NFL list. Justin Jefferson, two. Jalen Hurts was three.
Jalen Hurts was above Burrow and Allen on this list. He's got the respect of his peers as well. But that is not good enough for Jalen Hurts. And he is going to show everybody last year was not the exception. It is the rule. That's why he's on my list as a little extra. A little something on top. Mm. Top five players with the biggest chip on their shoulder in 2023. Did I miss anybody? What did I miss? <laughs> I thought you'd have like Rodgers on there or something. No, I, I don't think he's got a chip on his shoulder. What's the chip on his shoulder? What's the chip on his shoulder? This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. 